All right, going on to this problem here, let's go read the directions. So first we need to decide whether each is an expression or an equation, and then simplify any expressions and solve any equations. Alrighty, so we've kind of had some experience in this in uh, beginning parts of this chapter. Um, so let's see if we can uh, go through this rather quickly. Um, so first of all, this is very easy. If it, if it has an equal sign, then that's called an equation. And since this does not have an equal sign, this is called an expression. This is getting uh, more simpler than that. So if it has an equation, oh, I'm sorry, if it has an equal sign, then it's an equation. And if it doesn't have an equal sign, then it's an expression. So very, very simple right there. So, so obviously this is an equation. So now let's just solve for x. All right, so uh, l let's first uh, simplify the left side by first doing th the distributor property. So 5 times x is 5x. Uh, 5 times 3 is positive 15. A uh, negative 8, negative 8 times a positive 2x is a negative 16x. Uh, negative 8 times a negative 6 is a positive uh, 48. And that equals 12. All right, so, so let's go ahead and combine some common terms here. So like I know that I can combine my 5x and my negative 16x uh, together since th those are um, those are common terms so I have so negative uh, 5x minus 6 and X is negative 11 X and and I can also combine together uh, 15 and 48 so so I'm going to combine those guys together so that's going to give me what uh, 63 and that's going to equal 12. All right, so now let's go ahead and, and do two more steps here. I'm going to go ahead and subtract uh, 63 from, uh, from both sides to get rid of uh, that little dude. So I'm going to subtract 63. Those will uh, cross out right there. So I have negative 11x equals uh, negative 63, negative 53. So negative uh, 51. And then we're going to divide both sides by negative 11. Divide both sides by negative 11. So that means we get x equals 51 over 11. OK, let's uh, move it on over here now. Uh, we want to go ahead and uh, combine common terms together, really. So let's just go ahead and combine a half x minus 1 6 x. So really, if I want to combine these two together, um, I want to get a, a common denominator of uh, 6 because that's our, our LCD, our lowest common denominator. And again, the way that you do that is write out the multiples of each of the denominators. And whenever they match first, then that's what your um, LCD is. So if I write out the multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, write out the multiple of 6, 6, 12, 18. Well, you can, you can see here that 6 is the first time that they match. So, so that means I want to I want to make this two a six. So I ask myself, what do I multiply two by to make it six? I'm going to multiply by three. So really, this just became three over six x minus one six x. You see there. And so now I can I can combine my terms now. Three minus one, and so that's going to give us two over six x, or also known as one third x. Okay. So the purpose of, of doing what we just did was we just combined these two guys together to give us one third x. All right, so now if we're gonna do the same thing over here, um, I need to get a common denominator. And so uh, uh, what I can do right here is multiply both sides by two, or actually top and bottom by two, because I want this to have a common denominator of two. So now this becomes three halves minus 16 over two. So uh, 3 minus 16, so that's just going to give us um, minus 13 all over 2. Now, you could leave it like this, or if you want to get a common denominator, you can multiply this side by top and bottom by 3, and then top and bottom by 2 to get a common denominator of 6. But uh, that should be uh, sufficient right there.